Hey guys, just gonna make a video on setting up the DOM in Quant Tower. So if you're gonna want the style to be similar to mine, first thing you're gonna wanna do is go up here to settings, go to general and then theme and go to themes editor, um, click reset and proceed, and then you can create your own theme. Um, only thing I really did was change these two colors. So this color is um, this gray here and the second color is the background. So you can copy these hex numbers. So this um, primary background is 2A, 2A, 2A. And then the secondary background is 1E, 1E, 1E. So that's just going to make the chart look similar um, if you want to copy this style. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the DOM here. Uh, drag this to the left side. And I'm going to close this panel and expand it here and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna find ES chart so I'm gonna go to CME e mini futures EP which is ES on CQG data um, so now we have this opened here next thing I'm gonna to want to do is I'm gonna to want to add and remove any columns that we want or do not want so we're gonna go up here anywhere here along the header we can right click and we can check and uncheck um, the columns. So I'm going to remove the buy and the sell column as well as the imbalance column. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add the profit loss column. I'm going to add the volume col column, the delta column, and then I'm going to also add the bid trade size and ask trade size columns. So now that I have that done, I'm going to want to rearrange this. I want the profit to the far left, so I'm going to just click the header here and drag this to the left. I'm going to put the delta to the right of that, and then the volume, and then the price. And then I'm going to put the bid trade size here, and the ask trade size to the right of that. So now we have the chart set up um, in the way that we want it. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is change the styling. And to do that, we're gonna right click here or right click at the top and go here to settings. First thing I'm gonna do in the settings, you can come down here, you can change the font or the font size. You can make it smaller or bigger here, or you can change the grid if you want no grid, vertical or horizontal. I'm gonna leave it at all, but I'm going to go to the grid color and change the opacity so that it is visible but not as visible, um, just my personal preference. And then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I like having a center line here, so I'm gonna click a check mark here, and I'm gonna make the um, color white, and then I'm going to make the opacity, um, I'm gonna drag that till it's kind of pops, but it's not as um, vibrant as it was before. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to go to the columns here. And the first column I'm going to change is delta. I'm gonna start here on the left and work my way right. So I'm gonna scroll down to profile three and that will be the delta profile. I like the profiles to be right aligned. So I'm going to right align the text here and then I'm going to go to alignment and choose a right. So now that we have that done, I'm gonna change the colors. So the positive delta I'm going to make this a dark blue. So for the dark blue color, I'm going to put 4171101. So to do the RGB, you can just type those numbers in with commas in between. And then I'm going to make the text a bright blue. I'm gonna do 52183244. And then for the delta negative for the back, I am going to do 81, 55, 55. And then for the text, I'm going to do 253, 59, 49. I click enter. And then I am going to, you can see there's a point of control and value area. For the delta, I don't really care to have it, so I'm gonna uncheck both of these. So we don't have either of those showing, we just have the delta. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to profile one, or this volume profile, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna right align the text and go to alignment and select right. 
And then for the volume, I'm gonna change this to be a gray color. I'm gonna do 100, 100, 100. And that will get that how we want it. I'm gonna leave the value area and the point of control. I'm just gonna change the point of control to um, a orange. I'm just gonna select this orange here. Um, that looks good to me um, and fine by me. So next thing we're gonna do is we're going to change the bid. So we're gonna scroll back up, go to bids. And for the bids, um, we're gonna change the size coloring scheme. I just like it to be solid since you can already see the size based on the width of this histogram. Um, so next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check here at custom back color and then click here. And I'm gonna make it that dark blue we used earlier here for this. So I'm gonna click on that dark blue. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here to the um, bid color back. And we're gonna make that be a little bit lighter blue. So it's gonna be 57, 105, 157. And then for the text, I'm gonna do an even brighter blue. So I'm gonna do 52, 183, 244. There we go. And then for the, we're gonna do the ask column next. So I'm gonna to go to asks and we are going to do the same thing. We're gonna click here and then I'm going to make the color a dark red. So we're gonna do 81, 55, 55. And then we're going to change this from gradient to solid. We're going to make the back here a little bit brighter red. We're gonna do 169, 57, 54. And then for the text, we're gonna do a really bright red. We're gonna do 253, 59, 49. Okay, so now we have that done. Only thing really left to do here is change the bid trade size and the ask trade size. So we're going to go to the bid trade size and I'm gonna remove this gradient. I don't really like to have a gradient here. I'm going to select none. And then we're going to use the colors that we used previously. So for the background here, I'm going to make it this um, middle red. For the text, it's gonna be the bright red. And then I'm gonna do the border color. I'm gonna make it the same as the back color just so it doesn't really stand out. I don't really care to have an outline. Um, so we're gonna do the same for all of these. The back's gonna be the darker, the text is gonna be brighter, and then the border is gonna be the same. So I'm gonna do that for all of these. There we go. So now we have that. So now any trades that happen here are going to highlight red with bright red text. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the ask trade size. We're gonna do the same thing for the back. It's gonna be this middle blue. And for the text, it's gonna be the bright. And then the um, outline is gonna be the same as the background. Background's the darker, text is the brighter one, and then the outline is the same. Okay, so now that we have those done, I'm gonna remove this gradient so that they're similar. Now that we have that done, this is pretty much um, how I like the DOM to be styled. We have the blue and the red, we have the delta, we have the volume profile with the value area here. And that's pretty much it for styling the DOM in Quant Tower.